Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And uh, this afternoon, let us talk about important matters. We have seen a lot of discussions happening because of the new currency, which is expected to be launched in the nation of Zimbabwe any time from now. What is of importance is to know that uh, a lot of people are asking, how is this currency going to work? And we are still waiting for the governor to come and uh, explain how this currency is going to work, the modalities, the policy itself. So we need more info from uh, the governor. But what are the expectations? What do we expect to, to hear as citizens? What do we need to hear? So I'm going to give you my own views based on things which I thought or I think we need to hear when these pre presentations are made. One of the most important things is to understand that uh, money circulation starts from the government going downwards. So government runs its own programs. They have their investments which are happening, some projects which are happening. And also the government pays civil service or civil servants, uh, civil, civil, civil service employees. So here are my thoughts. And uh, I'm, I, 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 I need to be guided correctly if there is need. So I'm not an expert in economics, but we are going to talk about my own thoughts. This structured currency, it was going to give Mnangagwa the last chance if they have thought or they have had thought to create or to open minds for the government in the prior years, which means when President Mnangagwa came in, they were supposed to open several mines, gold mines, for the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe, wholly owned by the government. And they were going to make some profit from those mines. They were going to use those profits from the mines to pay civil servants, to pay contracts. And they were going to do it in gold. So what was going to happen is they were going to say, we are going to peg salaries for teachers at this much, salaries for doctors at this much, salaries for everybody who is working in the civil service. And they will convert that money into gold, hard gold. They will take gold, they will give it to banks. The banks will hold gold. And then the banks also, who give the, 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 the Zimbabwean dollar to, to the people for transactions, or will load the same value of, of, of that gold into the cards being held by the workers of the government. What it means is somebody could go to the bank with the money, take money be able to, 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 to take equivalent of the, the gold uh, in US dollars. So it was going to be very, very easy for the government to be operating in such a way. And um, you'd see that in no time, everybody was going to, 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 to have confidence in these processes and know for sure that I have so and so money and it's valued uh, be, uh, based on gold, which is held at the bank. There was no need for everybody to travel with a gold bar, but we were supposed to have a gold bar at the bank, which means in 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 no go now shrink and do total rot. Randa we ne mariangu, ruda kuli liquidator gold rangu rikuno. I give them the, the the money, they liquidate my gold and pay me in United States dollars. That is how this country was going to move forward. Remember, Zimbabwe always sell gold. Gold is rikuto tenge skopa ma international markets. And there are people who would want to sell their things uh, or to buy or to make purchases in other countries. So what would happen is that Zimbabwe, you know, via Tanga could trade. My bank said, Tanga could trade with other banks in gold, directly in gold. Munagata transaction could Dubai. Zimbabwe and Bengir Ninger in correspondence in a Bengir could Dubai. They exchange their gold. Gold rotodi rotodanga to farmer. That is how Zimbabwe was going to make money 
in my or to 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 um have a currency with significance a currency which is well valued in my own view at this moment in time if they fail to do so i don't see any other miracle personally i don't see any other miracle ichawia vakambota about ma gold coins kuti tichaunza ma gold coins aningane same value with with the gold just change zvakaita chichi but it it will not work why is because akutori na gold racho so the only way mnangagwa can deal with these things is to make sure that every month vano fanonge vane a certain amount of gold riri kutopinda in my banks which is being fed into the banks the government of zimbabwe must not create money from the thin air they must put ma goride ma banks as payments for civil servants that will be the beginning what will happen the companies will start to do the same thing because massive servants goride rais kwa mumumuma banks vachatenga vatenga kudaro kwa ma companies kwa vatenga acha bada rova shandi using the same structure they are voting now and the circulation goes ya kutotanga ufamba ya kadaro that is my own understanding and I tend to be guided correctly but i believe these are the models which have been used by other countries which are, are, are helpful that is the only way you can have a gold backed currency if you don't have that then you are still joking because hakuna mna chabvuma zvezve zvatakamboitwa zvezve there is need for the people to have confidence in this economy there is need for the people to have confidence in this currency without that this currency is going to fall this currency is going to fail because rinonge richingori bepa zvangofanana ne haika sarudza kuti ipe value to that money maria yanomuka yane mari yese kurumende every note rawo yanaro kana kuti every 1000 a bond tinokupa dora every 1000 bond tokupa dora re singachashanda parino uya then they place value on that money and rose one but it will be difficult because team respeculation the rora parakai batiri ra mari yai and rose one so it will be difficult for them to stabilize it and they have failed so i i do not know we need to have this con honest conversation what do we expect from 500 million this is 575 million is announced by the government kuti ndo iri kuzobheka mari chauya how is this going to work are they going to release mari structured currency zvishoma zvishoma zvichenderana nekuti kana tiri pa 575 million they will release 575 million worth of structured currency kana tane 600 million they add kana tane 700 million they add kana tane 800 million they add up until zvinhu zvakufamba mushi we do not know maybe if they do so we are going to have a lot of changes because eh zvinenge zvine direction iri kuoneka zvinenge zvine kamuono karipo but as long as we are going to use that structured currency alongside the united states dollar then we are doomed for trouble because people will opt to have us dollars more than the structured currency which means what we expect to see the government is completely ban the use of other currencies completely then we need to have co uh, uh, in enforcement of that currency as a legal tender which to pind up a few station what was quite in rule of your dizirango to dirirwa uchanza structured currency yoyo hazvina zvokunzi mana chama runotsvaga ma us dollar pese pa wapinda wakapinda mbank today yezezi kana mchida kuona kuti currency inoshanda vamunanga gwa vakangoisa mitemo yavo yakanaka uye vakaita kuti zvinhu zvifambe machange money esa abva ndikapinda mbengi zvezi ndosvika ndine structured currency yangu ndoti shamari ndipo mari yangu in US dollars ndoda kuenda ku South Africa ndoto piwa mari yangu ipapo ipapo the banks will not hesitate to give me United States dollars dzandine ndinadzo equivalent to that money because they know kuti andina kwa ndine ishandisa mari iyo yomuzimbabwe I must be able to load money money yemuno muzimbabwe in my visa card or in my master card ndotoloda nchitoridza muridzo ndiri pa bank 
Ndote pinda South Africa, I go to swipe. I must be able to go online. Ne mariangu structured currency iyo yo irimukadi mangu. Ndote ita online payment yangu. Bengiro to sota zinu ikoko. It must be recognized on the international monetary market. Kuti there is a Zimbabwean dollar renounce a structured currency or whatever it is. It must be there. In exchange rate yayo, iri recognized. Yavano zawati inda tuweta purchase yangu, online purchase yangu, uh, transaction yangu yato famba. If those things start to happen in Zimbabwe, ndoku uzai, ma change money will never have a job. That is the honest truth. The problem will come when I try to make an online payment and I fail. I want to purchase my kappa before forward. Kadirangu ndo vanda enda ma details angu ese. Ndo vanda konfema jese. Robara declina. That is the problem. Nobody will ever trust this process. Because wanacha manya ono to amanaka. Tipe o ma yusa. As long as people are going to onto the streets to say tipe o ma yusa. Tibada remota zedu. Tipe o ma yusa. Titenge chakati chedu. Tipe o ikezu. You know a lot of transactions are being done online. A lot of transactions are being done online. You just enter the details of your MasterCard and everything else. You authenticate right here in Zimbabwe with your bank. Wango peza kudaro. Wakutu tangata ma transactions ako. Buying your softwares. Buying everything you need. Ma goods wakwa chito uya. Paying fees for your, ki, for, for, your, for your kids. For your children. Wa abroad. And um, paying my bills of people abroad. Yes. So if we manage to do that. Then this currency is going to survive. But if we fail on that, then you have to know that this currency is not going to survive. It won't. So this is my own thinking. Uh, the government must make sure that they deal with criminal activities. change money. There is a criminal activity change money. Especially in the existence of echo echo. Hede, iwe, lokuza. Mwana wemi na inga chulu wapa spe toka. Wezo wakuma na eva waka mbo jita endu wakuto jita eze jizu. So it is what it is in Zimbabwe. There is a lot of fraud which is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. There is a lot of corruption which is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. And we need to make sure that we deal with those issues. But the major question is, is the government going to be able to pay its civil servants with gold? Is the government going to be able to pay its contractors in gold? If the government manages to do so, then... We have started somewhere. Just imagine, Mama in SRM Zimbabwe, Aruku Badera Washandivao, Ashansa Gold. Just imagine, Tinoshka Kopi. You saw, you see, Guti, Vashandiva, Sevarikum, Varima companies, Ezer, Arikuta Mining, big companies, Esai, Vachatanga could trade in gold. Everybody, Aruku, in India, and the pure gold rang, Dori trade, I won't tango a time, Eco Cash, Eco Net. Eko ni tuwa yu tre dao, ichi badaro wa shandivayo. Zuzakto famba. Zuzakto famba. So, this is my own thinking. I, I, I tend to be uh, gu guided and corrected. I'm not an economist and um, I, was just, I was just giving you my own thoughts and my own views. Let us have this conversation and understand what do you really think? Will this work? This is President Nangagwa's last chance. Will he utilize this chance? 